Hey, what's going on, everyone? Brandon here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're here in NASCAR E2 for race 23 of 23 here at Homestead, Miami for the Ford EcoBoost 200. Last race was at Phoenix. We ended up getting a top five, fifth place finish in the Lucas Oil 150, but now it's time to run for a championship. Uh, here is the final four. One driver looking to put their name here, me, Christopher Bell, Grant Enfinger, and Matt Crafton will battle it out for a championship here. One race to do it. The drivers that got eliminated last round were Chase Briscoe and Ryan Truex. So, uh, yeah. Um, don't know what to say about that really, but yeah, those are the final four that we are racing. Me, Bell, Enfinger, and Crafton. So, yeah. Uh, there is the settings right there, so let's go ahead and get into this race. There's Ryan Truex, the guy who did get eliminated in last race by 75 points. He missed the cutoff. 75 points. That's a lot of points. Uh, sucks for him, but, you know, there's always next time. Except we are going to be doing, after this, the start of the NASCAR Xfinity Series season uh, championship. So look forward to that. Um, should be a lot of fun. So yeah, let's go ahead and we're going to qualify. And I'm going to put in a little bit of a setup. All I'm going to do is adjust the wedge a little bit. Try to get a good lap. Down to 47. So let's go ahead and do that. That's all I'm changing. So let's practice our exit of pit road. You know, I probably won't use the access road. Uh, not bad. Could be a little bit better. Alright. Time to qualify. And my headset's falling off. Alright, there we go. I should get up on that outside and make this track as long as possible. Alright, here we go. One lap. And I'm in the wall. There was no room for mistakes here in this qualifying lap, and I hit the wall off turn two. We still get 19th, though. Man, if I didn't hit that wall, it would have been probably a lot better. That's disappointing. Who got the pole? Where are the championship four starting? Wow, Grant Enfinger on the pole, trying to make a statement here to say that he belongs here in this final four. Uh, Crafton starts fifth, and Bell starts ninth, so I start the lowest of everybody. So let's go ahead here. I'll just go ahead and put in a little bit of a wedge adjustment. So let's go ahead and get into this. Ready. Steady. Green flag is out. We are underway here for the final race in the NASCAR V2 Truck Series Championship, and I just missed the shift badly. Did I say season two? I meant season one. I don't even know. I was just focusing on trying to get that shift down because I messed it up. Let's redo that. Green flag is out. We are underway here for the final race in NASCAR V2 Championship Season 1. I don't even remember what I said. Oh crap. But anyways, as we, we race off turn four here to complete lap one, already up to the 18th position. Trying to work this inside. Side draft Tyler Young a little bit there. Grant and fingers looks like he's losing the lead. Can't tell who that is too, but Grant Enfinger falling back, but he is looks like still holding the lead in the championship so far. That might be TJ Bell he lost the lead to. John Hunter Newman check up to second. Now Hold Chase Briscoe going for third over Grant Enfinger. No championship driver has been able to make Hold any passes so far though on Grant. 
Crafton was trying there. I'm just running this inside lane, making up ground. Up to 11 now into the top 10 as I get around Ryan Truex. And now I lost just a little bit. Back to 11. This inside is really working. Here comes Christopher Bell around the outside of Matt Crafton trying to get that position. Grant Enfinger gives him a little block. That helps Crafton get back up there. And still stay side by side with Bell. And I'm going to take it three wide here. Try not to slide up. And here I go for the championship lead. Three wide as we race down the back stretch. Me, Grant Enfinger, and Christopher Bell. And Bell is going to get the advantage here. But I'm going to dive it into three and four. Oh, get tight. Me and Bell make a little bit of contact, but Bell's going to come out in the lead. Here comes Grant Enfinger on the inside trying to make the pass. Remember, stage points don't matter here for the championship four. For everyone else, it does. For the championship four, there's only one goal here. Come out here and win the race to win the championship. Or not even win the race. Just come out here and finish ahead of the other three competitors. That's all we got to do. And right now, Christopher Bell is doing just that. Hold the bottom. Is now I move into the top five around John Hunter Nemechek. Here I come on Bell. I got a, had a run, but I lost a little bit of momentum there off turn four. Four to go here in stage one. I'm gonna try this outside. I'm in the wall. Chuck doesn't obviously want to be up there. I was trying the lane that Bell was running, but the truck got tight. And caution is out. Stage is over. Chase Briscoe wins stage one. Christopher Bell wins the battle uh, in stage one of the other of uh, the four championship contenders. I'm in second in that running. Uh, Grand Finger fell back to ninth, and Crafton fell back way back. Where does he fall to? Uh oh, that could be a problem. Crafton dead last. That's probably a failure or something he's probably out of this race let's see do we see him on pit road I'll have to look when we go by here as we come back to the green flag here in stage two green flag back in the air yes Crafton is out of the race so there is no hope for Matt Crafton to win this championship and I'm making it three wide here on the restart all the way to the inside lane going for the race lead over Chase Briscoe what a great restart Briscoe's going to get the run off the corner, and I'm going to just slide up here. And, oh, Austin Citrix there. Slide up in front of TJ Bell, and I fall back to the third position. We'll actually get to the third position because I was on the restart was behind that. And man, me and Citrix making contact up to second now. Nine to go here in the stage. Let's try this outside again. can't really run the, exactly right next to the wall, but I can run this top groove, not bad. Nice big run here off the corner. Not big enough though to make the pass. Not such a good run here off turn four. A decent one, but not much. Oh, Briscoe slid up. Big run off turn two. Still the car out there. I lost it. I should have just dove to the inside. Oh, and I'm in the wall. Here oh, comes oh. TJ Bell to the inside. Ah, uh, truck's just tied up here. But I do get little runs off the corners. The going into the pit. Oh, they're pitting. Oh, crap, I got a pit soon. 
six to go on the stage, pitting this lap. Bell didn't pit, which that's the good thing. You're almost out of gas. Yep, pitting this lap. Sure, we'll let Austin win himself have the lead, I guess. Nope, I slide up into him. Here comes Bell. The leader's pitting. The race to get on pit road. Don't speed, don't speed, don't speed, don't speed. Inside, don't there. speed. I didn't know the speed limit there. Oh, that scared me. All right, two cans fuel, four tires. This is for a championship. That's 20 to go right there. Oh, gosh. Very nerve-wracking. Not Just didn't want to speed there. 15.9 seconds stop. Come on. Oh, crap. And Bell's out in front. Oh, trying not to spin it. I do mess up there. Crap, that's way practicing qualifying. I didn't lose much, though. Actually, I'm gaining a lot here. And I pull to the outside, and I get right back around. Uh, Christopher Bell. Here he comes with a run here off turn four. Inside, still there. Side by side down the front stretch. Four to go here in the stage. Gonna have to make one more pit stop here in this race. I will probably pit under the yellow. We'll have to see what I decide to do. Stay high, stay high. Hold a steady wheel. And caution. Ryan Shrex wins the stage. Oh, we're all lap down. Yeah, I gotta stay out. All right, here we go. What the heck is Gordon Forrester doing up here? Whatever. All right, here we go. Green flag back in the air. Outside, real tight. Still a car out there. Oh man, here we go for the lead again. Clear. Outside, clear. Outside. Truex still with the run. I slide up. Try to slide up. We make contact. I went fully sideways, outside. and I'm going to lose a lot of momentum. And I'll be falling and dropping like a rock here. Back to fifth. Still a car out there. But here I come back, fighting on the inside. Inside of Christopher Bell with a nice run off. He got an even better one, though. I'm just going to slide up behind him. 13 to go in the race and 13 to go to decide a champion still are gonna have to go through to make a pit stop that's pressure a lot of pressure right now oh, here I go for the race lead oh slide up right in front of Austin Wayne self that was close. And I'm going to take the lead here. 12 laps to go. Now the question is, do I pit right when I think my fuel window's open? Or do I stay out as long as possible and hope for a caution? Don't know what I should do, if I should stay out as long as I can or what. Or just do what Christopher Bell does. I don't know, right now I'm just focusing on extending this lead. So when I pit, if I do make a little mistake, I'll have a little bit of cushion to fall back on. It's right on board here a little bit. Oh, damn it. We got really tight. Ah. Uh, 
Yeah. We're going to be able to hold the lead here, though. Ten to go in the season. Bell all the way back to fifth. Nine to go. Gonna have to pit here soon. Not looking forward to that at all. I probably won't take any tires either. Maybe two, but that's nah, I'll probably take none. Eight to go. So we are about four laps short on fuel. Probably take half a can, maybe a can just to be sure in case we have overtime. Yellow, 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 yellow. There's the caution. Now what do we do? Do we take four? I think we take four. Wow. No, we don't take four. I just fell from first to 19th. All right, well, we just lost this championship. Got to come like a bat out of hell right now. No mistakes on the shifts. Five to go. I probably just choked this championship away. I'm going to fight, though. Clear, clear. Outside. No, I got five to go. I got time, just got it. No oh, mistakes. God, still there. Clear, quick. I have probably the best truck. Four laps to go in the season. Should these on. four tires Hold pay off? On. Will I have enough time to get up Hold there? I think on. I will. Hold up on. to eight. Now underneath Grant Infinger for 7th. This is for 2nd place in the championship. There's Christopher Bell. He's right up there. Two spots ahead of me. I get around Grant Infinger. There's TJ Bell. Not a championship contender. Uh, Ron Bell. Um, trying to get around him. Coming to 3 laps to go. Oh man, if I could come back from this, that'd be amazing. Get around TJ Bell, trying to get around Ryan Truex. There is Christopher Bell right there. I get a run off turn two here, trying to clear Ryan Truex, but he's going to still be side by side with me. I should be able to clear him going into three and four here. Clear, clear. As we come off turn four here. Oh, Christopher Bell got slowed up there by Austin Wayne Self. Well, that could be helpful. Two laps to go. Oh, here I come on the inside. Oh, try not to make contact. We don't. And I got a little bit of a runoff, but he's going to have a bigger one. Still side by side down the back stretch. Should be able to clear him, though. Come on, clear him. I do. And coming off turn four, the white flag is out. One more time around Homestead. Christopher Bell is the run. I'm coming up to block. One lap to go in the season. Who's going to win the race and who will win the championship? They lose, they lose. Hold, I want to try to win the race, clear, but I don't want to do anything stupid that will take me out of this championship. But here I come on the inside. Oh. Not clear. I'm going to be able to dive it here into three and four, though. Try to get around Austin Wayne Self. I'm going to be to the inside. I'm going to come up. We make contact. It's not going to be enough. Austin Wayne Self is going to win the race, and I'm going to win the championship. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Unbelievable. Hey, that's awesome. Ah, uh, yes. Champion, baby. Whoa.
Hell yeah. Woo! There we go. There's the big trophy. That's what I like to see. Had the fastest lap, of course. Uh, hell yeah, champion of the world. Uh, the camping world truck series. Oh yeah, there we go. Congrats, you won the championship. Woo! First, second, end season, finished first. Earned that trophy, it's called trucking, and then V is for victory. Sweet. Oh man, so let's go ahead and look at the playoff standings right there. Uh, let's look at the final standings. Oh man. Let's look at the drivers with wins. I had 10 of them. Christopher Bell had 2. Grandfinger had 1. Crafton had 2. Briscoe had 2. Cindric had 1. Cody Coughlin had 1. Austin Wayne Self had 1. Austin Hill had 1. Who else had one? Tommy Joe Martins had one. Brandon Brown had a win. And that's all for winners. And there are the final standings. So, yeah, uh, that's the end of the championship season one for the trucks. Uh, next, I will be doing is a Xfinity series season. And then I'll be moving over to the cup season. But yeah, Xfinity season will be starting here soon, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, give it a like. Go ahead and subscribe for more content. Comment some in the comment section below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all next video. Peace!